Okay, let's look at turning mappings into functions by changing their domain. So in the previous video, we looked at the um, we looked at the graph for y equals one over x. We thought, you know, was that a function? And we thought we said, well, you know, every value of the domain, or almost every value of the domain, does map to one value of the range except for zero. Zero was an asymptote because remember, one divided by zero you can't do so there was no particular uh, output or value for the range for that value uh, so um, let's turn this into a function okay so if you want to change that into a function you can write f of x so that's how you can write a function equals 1 over x but let's just change our domain to make sure that we have all the values and we just state that 0 isn't a value of the domain okay so you would write uh, the domain comma domain and your little curvy brackets like that and you would write x belongs to the set of real numbers comma x does not equal zero and that just tells you that inside the domain okay you've got every single set of the real every single value uh, every single number in the set of real numbers but x is not equal zero so it's just you're just changing your domain just so you don't have a zero in there and then every member of that, or every element of that domain will map then to one value of the range. Therefore, it then would be a function. Okay? So you can change your domain, and then that can make it a function. Let's look at another example. Okay, so I've drawn the graph for y equals uh, root x. Now, again, y equals root x, I mean, that could be a function, except for the fact that, okay, you can put in every value, uh, every value for the domain could be 0, or positive values, but negative values obviously wouldn't work. You can't take the square root of negative values. Okay, therefore, let's change this into a function. Okay, so you'd write a function of x equals root x, and then comma, domain, and then bracket, uh, x is the set of real numbers. So we can take every single value, and x is bigger than or equal to zero. So this is sort of your notation. So x belongs to a set of real numbers, just saying that you can put in every single value, decimal numbers, rational, irrational, um, but x is bigger than or equal to zero. Okay, so you can only take in uh, zero and all the positive values. Okay, and then therefore that would be a function because you think about it, your domain would be zero, all the positive values, you can square root them so that they all map to exactly one value of the range.